To start writing a document, you first need to insert a map. Blocks can never be single information units. They are always part of a map. You can find the map option in the ribbon, here. When clicking on map, you will get a map with a single block by default. As my map is going to contain information on, for example, the biometric machine, I will give it the same map title. After you have inserted your first map, you can start writing your content in the first block. For example, if I first need to define what biometric verification is, my block label could be Definition Biometric Verification. I write this in the placeholder for the block label. In the placeholder of the block text, I explain what biometric verification is. Biometric verification is any means by which a person can be uniquely identified by evaluating one or more distinguishing biological traits. The unique identifiers include fingerprints, hand geometry, retina patterns, voice waves, DNA, and signatures. Now I want to write about the parts of a biometric machine. I will add a second block. To do so, I can leave the cursor in the first block or I can put my cursor underneath the block line and click block option on the ribbon here. A new block gets inserted into your document. I add the block label parts of the machine and content on parts of a machine can be written over here. If a block must be inserted between two blocks, i.e. in between the definition block and the block I just created, I put my cursor in the definition block or underneath a block line and click on block. A new block is inserted between the two blocks. This is how we can easily insert blocks into a map. I can decide to add a map before my map biometric machine. I put my cursor before or in the map title and click on map. A new map is inserted before my existing map. If I want to insert a new map after my existing map, I place the cursor after the last block of the current map and click on map in the FS Pro ribbon. A new map with a block is added after this map. So you see, we have the first map, second map, and then the third map. As you see, the outline view also shows a structural view of the maps and blocks just created. This is how maps and blocks can be inserted to create an entire document.